welcome back all of you nana here and then in this record we are going to see about uh, the purchase requisitions old format has been hidden and then the new format for ssp has been brought in now and go that corner it has been hidden actually so click on share so if you go there and then have a look at it now i go there what is this well if you go to the procurement so purchase requisition new is coming the old purchase requisition is not coming if you click on the show more also what happens it is not there when shop new is coming the shop old is not coming actually so they have hidden it actually so we will not try to bring it back at no go and type so if you click on the requisition purchase requisition it is in line with the responsive self service procurement and so what happens they are now making it what happens get yourself habituated to this ssp actually so this screen is mainly for ssp actually right self service procurement for the normal requisitions for the what happens for the inventory you have to go to review on the update your requisition process click on the update requisition process you go there and then we going to update it now at what is almost same like what about so that so click on it delivered location i will not say seattle so seattle is the one fine go there so click on it and then go there destination type is going to be drop down and then make it as the inventory now so go there so drop down and then make it as the inventory so the person is set right click on update we are updating it so this is mainly for the let us say top you can see is for self service work product so this is now going to be becoming what was a self service what was a your responsive self service procurement actually very soon <clears throat> so they are making you to get habituated to what was even create the normal requisition via this module it is somewhat tedious fine it is not uh, that uh, helpful actually fine even though the redwood initiative is there fine let us not try to bring in the old form actually so the old form i want to bring in fine. it is not visible it has been hidden actually this place what was they have deleted so the old purchase requisition form is hidden actually so what i do is you know go there economic send max on so it has been said but maybe after july when the responsive self service program comes in what happens the old will be totally removed or not i am not very sure about it and as of now it is just hidden only so go to the configuration and then i go to the sandbox i will not bring it to light so go to the configuration and go to the sandbox i will not create a new sandbox and click on the create sandbox <clears throat> i will not create a sandbox this is for the structure actually 1 2 3 i will not enable the structure fine put a tick mark on the structure fine create sandbox and then number and then put a the remote structure and then click on create and enter i am not creating an entry yet so click on create and enter so we are not creating an entry you now <clears throat> so we are entering into the sandbox structure this time what happens i am going to have a look at the structure actually so we are now entering into the sandbox right so once we enter the sandbox what happens we go there and then click on the tools and then go to the structure means straight away structure so click on the tools and structure so under the procurement we will now go on and have a look at the procurement right so go there and go there go down go down go down <clears throat> everything is coming and go there go down so procurement expand so if you expand the procurement you can now see the purchase requisition fine this is a old one actually so this has been disabled in the navigator as well as the string board now fine both the places it has been disabled so we'll now enable it actually fine. this is a old one fine right so the new one is there the old one has been disabled actually in both the places so click on the hyperlink on the purchase requisition and then they have purposely made as what show on the navigator as what i will not make it as yes so show on the navigator just fine give a save and close so now it will not show on the navigator actually so click on it now it will not show on the navigator then click on the show on the navigator so it is not showing and for the springboard what happens you have to go on the edit also fine now again come back here no and then see that it is also shown on the springboard also fine it has got a el expression so i have not enabled it and i will not go on and have a look at the edit box right so i am going to say so now what am i going to see what about the purchase requisitions fine it has not come up now. so the purchase requisition has not come up fine purchase requisition has not come up mm. uh, what is the particular purchase requisition both the tick marks of that if you click on the hyperlink of it again now right click on hyperlink of it and then click on the springboard now fine click on the edit now fine click on the edit and then we have got a el expression fine right? so they have written and then what about the everything is with the exclamation mark if you click on the validate it will not say whether it is okay or not fine click on validate so it says what it is true if you remove all the exclamation mark everywhere now fine right? uh, the exclamation mark not everything it will not become false actually so that that is what this is the way it has to be done fine right? so it is not true actually so it is now enabled in both the places actually so springboard navigator both the things will be enabled fine right? the purchase record will be fine right? so now let us now publish this now. because that so go and fine click on it is a four step process fine click on it and then click on publish now. you're going to publish first step fine right? the second step fine right? click on it. so click on the publish and then second step is yes the second step the third step is again publish So I guess I'm going to click on the third step and click on publish, and then the fourth step is yes. So this is a four-step process, now, fine. So the third step is published, and the fourth give yes, now fine, by which it gets published. So this is four-step process you should not forget actually. Do it. What happens? The yellow color will go away. Now if you go there, fine, click on the home icon, click on the home icon, and now we'll get. I'm going to go to the procurement. It will be available. 
the go to the procurement office. Now the purchase requisition old form will be coming. Go to the factory for it. Mm. Go to the factory. Go to the procurement. And here, what happens? You can now see the old requisition form has come up. So if you click on it, you will not have the original one. No point. The new one is basically by SSP only. Right? And then I don't know whether they will not keep it or not after the first of July or not. I'm not really sure, but you may have to what happens? Do everything via SSP only. Maybe. So the old form has come. So from here, what happens? You go there. I will not go to what update requisition processes. Then you can very well do it. The old form actually. So the old form has come in where everything is. So we understand the Seattle actually. So it's not coming. So delivered location. So there you said Seattle fine. And delivered address is Seattle actually. So you know, make a change. And then whatever you want to do in the old form, you know, fully applicable actually. <clears throat> and then if you go there and then go for a whatever, you go to the pass and then click on the enter requisition line, it'll not go to the next page. Fine. This is the old form where we are habituated to writing it now. Where in the SSP, what happens when you want to get a requisition right? It will be coming in a uh, what happens a self service form, right? And that form we are now still not fully accustomed with it. So we are now uh, basically what happens uh, got accustomed with this form only. So we can even very well continue. Maybe after July they may even remove the whole old one, no fine. Everything is coming as such. So this is all. So this is how you have to introduce it. So what? So what? So you have now learned about how to bring in the old requisition forms into your listing, no fine. Bye for now.